Good afternoon, guys. It's uh, a new Rio talk, and today our guest is Professor Guy Masterman, uh, who spent here two weeks at uh, Rio, and now we're going to talk about his experiences and personal stuff. So, good afternoon, Professor. Uh, I wanted to ask you first uh, about your involvement in this program, about the teachers in our program, uh, whom you know personally, probably, and uh, how this program could be developed, in your opinion? Uh, well, thank you for the opportunity. Thanks for the questions. Um, I first got involved uh, right at the outset. Um, I met Lev Belasov, uh, who was then the chief executive, as opposed to rector for the project for Rio. Um, and I forget how many years ago it was now. It must have been five or so. And I met him at a conference. Um, I went up to him because he was explaining, he'd done a presentation, he was explaining uh, what Rio was all about um, at this academic conference that was based on, on sports uh, and Olympic sports in particular. Um, and so I went and I was about to introduce myself. He saw my badge and he said, I know you. And he knew of my work and he said he wanted to talk to me um, and the relationship went from there. And very quickly, um, I was talking to Lev uh, and Vassal Gurganov, who's a good friend from Brunel University. And the, uh, together, we uh, looked at developing the MSA program. So the task was between us to, to write the program from scratch, for it to be aligned with the Federation, the ed uh, education authorities here in the Federation, uh, and, and what's required there, but of course to uh, have a unique offering uh, in uh, the higher education sector globally uh, that's focused on, on Olympic uh, management uh, in general. Um, so it was an exciting opportunity. Uh, I was able to directly contribute to the marketing uh, side of what we were putting in, but generally Vassal and I were guiding uh, the uh, guys, Lev uh, and Nikolay, uh, who were involved at that time, and some Russian colleagues as well from Moscow State University in particular, on uh, what we should uh, be putting in there in the content-wise. And we were able to come to a uh, fairly quick agreement on what that should be, and uh, the MSA program as it stands now is, is relatively what we, what, we, uh, what we did and what we wrote in those days. Uh, we spent some time getting together to do that in, in Moscow, in Sochi, at conferences. Uh, we brought in other people, uh, and essentially the whole ethos was about um, uh, an international approach. So with the opportunity to teach in English, uh, there was an opportunity to have as, uh, as much expertise from around the world and a diverse set of people and academics from around the world to be able to contribute to uh, what is a unique selling point that the university has, and, and we still have that. So in you asking me the question, where do we go from here, um, I think uh, it's more uh, of building up the reputation of what we're doing in now, uh, not just the English program, but the Russian MSA program, which is the same program, but obviously uh, in, in the Russian language. Um, and for Rio as a university to really take off on, on the foundations that have been set uh, for three, four years now. We've just had those programs, but now things seem to be really kicking in with other programs, working with the, uh, the National Olympic Committee, uh, working with executives uh, in various governing bodies, working with stakeholders uh, that are sending students to us uh, is all good um, uh, building on what we've already got. So I see a bright future. Uh, and as soon as our alumni, such as yourself, shortly, uh, will get out there and spread the word, I think that's where the reputation will build. Um, for me, um, it's, it's an absolute um, must for me to stay involved in this as I move on in my career. Um, I enjoy coming out to Sochi. I enjoy having two weeks as opposed to one week, uh, where I can really get to know the students and build up on the two units that I do. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to being a part of, of the future. Manchester can rave about the summer being best. Then there's Liverpool and Arsenal and Spurs and all the rest.